Hello, Ronaldo. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And how are you? I'm fine. Ah. How is it going? <laughs> Everything is okay. <laughs> how was your weekend? Excellent. Relax. Ah, that's I nice. Made, I made uh, mango yellow, mango jelly. Mango. Oh, jelly mango? Jelly mango. <laughs> ah, okay, very interesting. Was it delicious? Excellent. <laughs> ah, okay. okay, that's nice. A mi compañero le gusta. <laughs> really? <laughs> Share the recipe. Share the recipe with your classmate. Okay. <laughs> and also the ingredients. <laughs> My secret. <laughs> ah, it's your secret. Okay. <laughs> oh. And where are your classmates? Look at this. It's nine o'clock. They aren't here yet. I hope they are coming. Y los compañeros, ¿qué pasó? Los classmates. Se han perdido. <laughs> Se han perdido, man. Vamos, aquí están escribiendo. Ya tiene buen rato de estar dando clase, profe. Mm, five years. Five years. Five, six. Five, six years. Ok. Está bien. I also work in a private school. And at night I work here. And on Saturday I have a mother. Está bien. Um, here is Stephanie. Stephanie is coming. Hello, Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? I am good, but I feel in... How do you say grief? <laughs> uh, I have no. the flu. I have the flu. Yeah, I have the flu. Sí. Oh, you no can se say, te escucha I'm bien. <laughs> Okay, don't worry. You just need to rest a lot. Sí. Thank you. Se escuchaba un poco enfermita, Stephanie. Sí, sí. <laughs> okay. I hope that you recover soon from this illness. So, Rolando and Stephanie. In the last class, we were studying the. Do you remember the topic? Uh, okay, we were talking about the simple past, and you have three activities, right? What, what did, did you do I do yesterday? Okay, what was the other option? What did you do your last, last birthday vacation. and also your last vacation? Hello, Yolanda. Good evening. Hello, Graciela. Teacher. Graciela. I'm sorry, I don't listen. Oh, don't worry, Yolanda. Welcome to the class. Graciela, welcome. My teacher. I'm sorry, I I was sick Tuesday. Ah, okay, don't worry. But you are better now? Are you better now? Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thanks, God. But I I watched the video. Ah, you watched the video class. of the class. Ah, okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I have a question. Um, the platform. How are you doing there? Have you already finished the platform? Ah, no. section number four in this week, right? You have to complete Teacher. during this week section number four. I'm sorry. And yes, que yo tuve un problema. Con la plataforma. Uh -huh. eh, a mí me llamaron el jueves que no había hecho nada. Y yo ya, ya estaba por la cuarta eh, hice. Pero me dijeron que me aparecía que yo no había hecho nada. ¿Revisó usted su progreso, Yolanda? Sí, sí. Hasta me llamaron por teléfono y les he mandado captura del, del avance que yo hice. Pero no sé cómo me han resuelto porque no, no me contestaron ya. 
Ah, ok. ¿Puede darme su nombre y su correo? Me lo envía al WhatsApp personal para poder consultar cómo okay. va su caso. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, Yolanda, thank you. Hello, Xiomara. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hey, what are your class right now? Good evening. It's time to start the class. What are they? So, let's see. Well, anyway, so let's start with tonight's class, right? So, welcome again to this class, Rolando, Yolanda, Stephanie, and Xiomara. So, let's start with the topic of tonight. Um, here we go. Tonight we are going to talk about section number four. Have you already finished this part on the platform? ¿Ya trabajaron la sección cuatro en la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh, section five. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, that's nice. So the topic for tonight is this. What does it look like? This is the topic. Ah, oh, what is it, sorry, it's not. Here is the topic. What does she look like? So welcome to the class number nine. So what does this question mean? What does she look like? Do you have an idea? What does she look like? Como, ¿cuál es la apariencia? ¿Cómo te oh. ves? Te ves. Okay. ¿Cómo yeah. se ve ella? ¿Cómo se ve ella? Cómo se ve ella, cómo luce, la cual da su look like. Hey. Yes, but before to go on this, I have a question for you. Uh, physical appearance, is it important? Is it important, physical appearance? I'm asking this because tonight we are going to talk about this, right? We are going to learn how to describe a person tonight. So is it important? Physical appearance is important for you? Yes, it's important. Yes, it is, really? Yes. How uh, much? Uh, the, the first impression is very important. important. Oh, yes, you are right. The first impression is really important. That's great. Uh, is it important physical appearance to get a job? Uh, it, it depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the work to realize. <laughs> ah, okay. It's going to depend on the work that you are going to perform or to do. Right? To perform. To do, okay. To do. Good. In which words do you think physical appearance is important? In which jobs do you think physical appearance is important? In the library. Oh, at the library? Because the people not going to the, how do you say, estrado? Um, stage? A stage in short or pink high color because the the author, authority how do you say autoridad? Authorities, yeah. Authority, no thing is really the speak the person, aunque tengan un título. Ah, okay. So you need to follow a code dress there. You have yeah. to follow a code dress. Okay, physical appearance is important, right? In many fields, right? For many reasons. And tonight we're going to talk about this. What does she look like? That is the topic for tonight. So this is the lesson objective. Any volunteer to read the goal for tonight? So thank you, Xiomara. Thank you so much. And um, in this section, Participants will learn vocabulary for describe people, an adjective of appearance. Appearance. Appearance, thank you. So we are going to learn that tonight. And let's start with this. Okay, look at this, hair. Look at this adjective, 
in phrases to describe the hair. We have the first one, long brown hair, short blonde hair, striped black hair, curly red hair, bald, mustache and beard. So do you have any question? What does long brown hair mean? Long brown hair. Black hair. <laughs> okay, long brown hair. ¿Alguien tiene el cabello así? Largo y café? No. Nobody? Jacqueline. <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline said long, no. Long, long red. Oh, My curly. hair is red. Oh. Um, okay, and then you have curly. Blonde. Okay, and curly too, right? Short yes, blonde yes. hair. Alguien en la clase con cabello rubio y corto? Short blonde hair? Nobody. Stry black hair. Cabello liso y negro? Somebody in the class? Yes. Yes, Kenny. Kenny, uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> okay, what about curly red hair? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah, oh, Jacqueline, <laughs> curly red hair. Okay, somebody bald? Uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. The teacher? <laughs> the, uh, the, I win, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> mustache, somebody with mustache and beard in the class? Mustache. Sí. Yes, mustache and beard. Short. Very ah, okay. <laughs> okay, now it has to do with hair. Then we have age. We have young, middle age, and elderly. Looks handsome, good looking, and pretty. In height, we have short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, and very tall. So let's listen this adjective. Hair. Long brown hair. Short blonde hair. Can you leave Straight them? Straight black hair. Curly yes, red teacher. hair. Uh, can you listen the audio? Yes. Yes? yes oh, okay. I'm sorry. Pause this. Let's listen again. Long brown hair. Short blonde hair. Straight black hair. Curly red hair. Bald. A mustache and a beard. Age. Young. Middle aged. Elderly, looks, handsome, good looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, so height is somebody with very tall, is somebody very tall in the class. Very tall, muy alto, pretty tall, alto, medium height, estatura promedio, fairly short, pequeño and short. Do you have any question about this adjective? If you don't have any question, let's go with the next example here. We are going to use then to describe people. Here. But let's take a look at this conversation. She is very tall. She is very tall. So I hear you have a new girlfriend, Brandy. Yes, her name is Ashley and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she is very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has a beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. So is it true? Es verdad que no se le pregunta la edad ni el peso a una mujer? What do you think about that? Es cierto. Eso es solo un mito. I want to know. Do you really, <laughs> do you really get mad if somebody asks you? La, la risa lo dice todo, el smile. <laughs> it's all right. oh, okay. In my, in my case, no problem, teacher. Ah, ah okay. I think she can't have any problem with that. Okay. 
Pero imagínense, este chico tiene miedo de preguntarle. Bueno. La edad. How old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Ella no me dirá. Uh, let's listen to this conversation and then we're going to practice. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, do you have any question about this vocabulary? Gorgeous, for example. What is the meaning of gorgeous? Gorgeous. Do you have an idea? Ella es grosera. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Algo así como. Yeah, delgada. It's a synonym for beautiful or very Como attractive. bonita, preciosa. Yes. It's like beautiful, right? Very attractive. That is the meaning of gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she is very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. So, parece que esta chica está celosa. Probablemente estaba enamorada y de Randy too. Se lo quitaron. So, let's see. Uh, I need to volunteer to practice. Who wants to be Emily? Who wants to be Emily? Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. Then, Rolando, you are Randy. Can you please start? Okay. I heard you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's George, gorgeous. Was gorgeous. Gorgeous, yes. Gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Look well, like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, thank you. Excellent, Jacqueline. Excellent, Rolando. So pay attention to this question. What does she look like? That question is asking, ¿Cómo se mira? ¿Cómo se ve? ¿Cómo luce? What does she look like? And then you start describing. The next question is how tall? How tall? ¿Qué tan alta es? And what color is her hair? ¿De qué color es su cabello? And the last question is how old is she? How old is she? ¿Qué edad tiene ella? Then we are going to learn how to answer this question. But at the moment I need another two volunteers. I have Yolanda and thank you, Giselle. Can you please start, Yolanda? Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley. I he, Ashley's Georgius. What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that's it tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, thank you so much, Giselle and Yolanda. Great job, thank you. I really appreciate your help. And thank you to you too, and Rolando and Jacqueline. So try to describe this other gear. What does she look like? No, Ashley. Uh, can you try to describe Emily? What does Emily look like? She is brown hair. She is pink. Okay, her color is brown. Brown hair. 
her color is brown, yes. Is she, how tall? How tall is she? She's, She's tall. medium. It's medium high. She's tall. She's tall. She's tall. In general appearance, is she beautiful? She's gorgeous. And she's gorgeous too. And how old is she? How old is she? She's young. She's young. She's young. Okay, she's young. And what about Randy? What does Randy look like? Uh, he's, he's tall. Um, your hair is brown. Okay, his hair is brown. He is pink, delgado. Okay, he is pink. Pink. In general appearance, is he attractive, handsome, good looking? Is he looking? Ugly. His mustache and beard. Ah, okay, he has a mustache and he has a beard. Okay, thank you. So let's go with the next. I hear you have a new girl. Okay, general appearance. To describe general appearance, we can use the following adjectives. Look at this. We have beautiful, pretty, elegant, cute, handsome, gorgeous, attractive, ugly, and good looking. ¿Cuál es de estos? Eso es un adjetivo negativo. Ugly. ugly. Ugly, right? So ugly. So beautiful, pretty, and cute are mostly used for women. For women, right? So beautiful, pretty, and cute se utilizan para mujeres. Para cuando estamos describiendo mujeres. Elegant, handsome, attractive, and good looking, we can use uh, for men. Handsome, handsome is for men, right? So elegant, attractive, and good looking, you can use for both. Para ambos. She's elegant. Uh, she is attractive. She is good looking. Or oh, he is elegant. He's attractive. He is good looking. And handsome, he's handsome. She's beautiful. She's pretty. She's cute. She's gorgeous. Sorry, gorgeous. En ugly, pues generalmente casi no se ocupa, ¿verdad? Porque es descortés. You sound rude if you say you are ugly. O se molestan las demás personas. ¿no? You are ugly. So we don't use that, right? Casi no se utiliza ese adjetivo para describir a una persona. It's like disrespectful to, use, to say somebody that she's ugly. But you're talking with your friend. Está criticando a alguien que está lejos. de no problem. But try not to tell anybody that he's ugly or she's ugly. Let's go with the next. So body, body build. El cuerpo. So you can slim, thin. Sorry. A second. Thin. This is el verbo pensar. It's like this. Thin without key. Skinny, chubby, slender, muscular, well built, fat, and obese. Slim, thin, skinny, chubby, slender, muscular, well built, fat, and obese. So slim and slender are almost the same. It means eh, esbelto. Esbelto. Skinny, muy delgadito. Thin es delgado, skinny es muy delgadito, es alguien que ya solo está huesos y piel, tal es skinny. Eh, chubby es una persona que tiene poquito sobrepeso, pero aún se mira bien, tal es chubby. Then we have muscular, the people who like to go to the gym. Eh, well built, una persona que tiene un buen físico, ¿verdad? bien formado, fuerte, tal es well built. En fat, Es una persona que está pasada de peso. En obes, eh, es alguien que ya le diagnosticó el doctor. ¿verdad? 
que tiene sobre pez, then we use obese. Uh, again, right? Uh, fat, instead of fat, we can use chubby. En lugar de decir a alguien, you are fat, so you say chubby. He's chubby, she's chubby, but no fat, right? because it's a little bit offensive. It's ofensivo, so try not to use fat. Do you have any question in this part? Yes. Uh, what is please the meaning slender? Slender, esbelto. Is slim. Skinny. Slim. Oh, slim. It's the same. They are synonyms. You can use ah. slim or, or also you Seven. could use fit, right? Fit is another. It's like there's delgado, esbelto, or fit, right? Una persona que está bien formada su cuerpo, that is fit. Any other question? Questions? Okay, describing age. How to describe the age of a person? You can use this adjective. She's old, he's old, he's young, she's young, he's middle age. She is middle age. Uh, he is in her 20s. She is in his 40s. Adult, he's an adult or he's a teenager. He's a kid. She is a kid. You can use this adjective to describe the age. So, a veces este, vemos a las personas que son, ah, tiene como 30. Tiene como 20, tiene como 40. Then we use this phrase. He is in his 20s. He is in his 40s. He is in his 30s. He is in his 70s. Oh, he is an adult. Él es un adulto. He is a teenager. Él es un adolescente. Question in this part. Do you have any question in this part? No question, teacher. No question. It's okay then. Let's go over the next exercise then. We are going to describe her. So look at this girl and tell me if the description is okay. Read the sentence and tell me if the description of this person is okay. What does she look like is the first question. In the answer, she's pretty. She's slender. How old is she? She's in her 20s, probably. How tall is she? She's very tall. How long is her hair? Let's say it's long. Is it okay, the description? No carbon teacher. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's, it's okay. Right. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> what color is her hair? What color is black. her hair? It's black. Okay. Black. It's black. Very good. And what about her eyes? What color are her eyes? It's brown eyes. Okay. Brown eyes. They are brown. They are brown. Aunque el cabello negro no existe, entonces tendría que ser como dark brown. Ah, ok. Cool. El cabello negro o los ojos negros? Eh, cabello. Los ojos son brown. Black eyes. Black eyes. Mm, brown ¿En eyes. serio? ¿No existe el cabello negro? ¿Really? Pues aquí no. Ah, ok. <laughs> Solo hay rubias. Black hair. Ah. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, en Asia se caracteriza por tener el cabello oscuro, negro, negro. Ah, los asiáticos. Ok. Después de tres tintes ya le queda negro, negro. <laughs> What does he look like? Look at this. Look at this man. What does he look like? And I use this adjective. He's elegant. He's fit. How old is she? He is in his 70s. He's is old. How tall is she? He's is short. How long is her 
his hair is short. And oh, what, color, what color is his hair? We can't see it. No podemos ver de qué color tiene el cabello. ¿Está correcta esta descripción? Is it right? It's short. Yes. And it's 17. Podemos suponer que su cabello es gray hair. Okay, gray hair. Okay. Any volunteer to read the description, please? I need two volunteers. Who wants to practice tonight? I need one to read the question and the other one the answer. Any volunteer? Thank you, Rolando. Rolando and Jacqueline. Thank you so much. Can you please start, Rolando, and then Jacqueline? Okay. Uh, tell me, Jacqueline, what does she look like? She is pretty. She's slender. How old is she? She's in her 20s. How tall is she? She is very tall. How long is her hair? It, it's long. Okay, thank you so much. Any other two volunteers to practice in this? Just two more. Any two volunteers? Then I'm going to choose. Let's see, I have one here. Lorena and Kenny, thank you. Can you please start, Kenny? Okay. Lorena, what does she look like? She is pretty. She is slender. How old is she? She is her 20s. How tall is she? She is very tall. How long is her hair? It's long. Thank you so much. That was excellent. I really appreciate your hair. Thank you, Kenny, Lorena, Jacqueline, and Rolando. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. Who wants to practice in this description? What does he look like? Uh, thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie and any other volunteer? Thank you, Graciela. Thank you so much. Can you please start, Stephanie, please? What does she look like? He's elegant. He's fit. How old is she? No, sería he. Oh, yes, you are right. Thank you. How old is he? Continue. I'm going He's to fix you. He's in 17. He's old. Who tall is he? Is he? he. Is, is he, he perdón. He is short. How long is no hair is not higher? He How long? Short. It's short. Okay, thank you. Let me fix this mistake. Thank you. So he, right? How tall is he? Thank you. And he. How old is he? he? How long is his hair? That's he's okay. Hair. Okay, that was excellent, thank you. So let me see, I have, do I have another volunteer? No, no more volunteers. So let's go with the next. Da, da, da. Answer the following question. Look at him and answer this question. What does he look like? How long is his hair? What color is his hair? How tall is he? How old is he? Any volunteer to answer this question? What does he look like? How long is his hair? What color is his hair? How tall is he and how old is he? Okay, he is Kenny. very tall. <laughs> okay, he is very tall. Thank you. He is very tall. That is height. And what about general appearance? He is handsome. Okay, thank you. He's handsome. Tall. He's tall. He's young. He's young. 
probably in 20 and 30s. Okay, 20s and 30s. Yes. Yeah. How long is his hair? It's short. He's short. Yeah. Black hair. Uh, what color is his hair? Well, see. Black hair and curly. Hmm. In, okay. Is it curly? Uh, mm. Probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. Maybe. Short. Short. And how tall is he? You say she is tall. How old is he? You say he is in his 20s or 30s. That's nice. Let's go with the next. Answer the following question. What does she look like? How long is her hair? What color is her hair? How tall is she and how old is she? What does she look like? General appearance. Is she is chubby. Okay, she is chubby. 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 Here, medium high. Yes, it's medium high. What color is her hair? Two colors. Is blonde. Brian Blondie. Okay, it, she has two colors in her hair. Blonde and brown. and brown. Okay. How tall is she? You say she is medium height, thank you. And how old is she? Medium. 30. Yes. And los 30? Yes. Okay, she is in her 30s. That's very good. Now let's go to the next exercise. Can you pick up one of this person and describe him or her? Choose one, choose one of these people here. Repeat please. Can you please choose one of these people and describe him or her? Escojan uno y describan. They are elegant. Solo. Ah, okay. Yeah. They, are, they are elegant. Yes, they are elegant. She is fairly cool. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's, let's start with Rolando. Rolando, which one? ¿Cuál uh, de ellos va a describir, Rolando? Uh, uh, she is the number four. <laughs> Tell me, tell me the color of the clothes. Uh, her, give, she give me a clue. Hair curly. Okay. Uh, curly hair. Only. Um, okay. Three. She's the only one with curly hair. She is, she has uh, she has a pretty smile. Okay. Uh, a pretty smile. Tell, tell me another thing about her. Describe her. Uh, what does she look like? General appearance. Uh, beautiful, pretty, cute, attractive. Good looking. Uh, she's good looking. She's good looking. Okay. Uh, how old is she? She's... 13, she's the 13. Okay, she is in her 30s. Está en sus 30, he's in her 30s. Uh, what about height? How tall is she? How tall is she? Tall, she's short. Tall. Very tall, medium high. Medium high. Medium high. Okay, what about body build? 
eh, Xavi, Slender, Pete. Shears. She's, is she fit? Is she a slender? Is she chubby? What do you think, Rolando? She's um, chubby. Ah, okay, she's chubby. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rolando. Any other volunteer who wants to try? The first person. This guy? Yes. With brown shoes? Yes, he is. Okay. What does he look like, Jacqueline? Mm, he's slim and handsome. Okay. Your uh, brown, uh, your hair is brown. His hair is brown. Yes. Um, he is tall. Mm -hmm. Continue, please. He is... His skin color is mm, trigueño, bueno, medium brown, así se dice. Oh, no, you say, um, what's the word, let's see, brunette skin or brown skin. Mm, okay, entonces, brown skin. And he is late 20 or early 30s okay thank you what about okay. his hair <laughs> what about his hair he is black he's black okay her hair is black and short short yes. black thank you thank you so much look at this uh, necesitamos dos verbos para describir a una persona el que estamos viendo el día de hoy es el verbo to be, pero también podemos utilizar el verbo, el verbo have para decir algunas características que tienen las personas. Por ejemplo, si quiero decir que él tiene barba, yo tengo que utilizar el verbo have, sería he has. Ese lo vamos a ver el día de mañana. También podemos describir a las personas por la ropa que andan puestas. He has blue jeans, he has brown shoes. But tomorrow we are going to study the verb have. Now let's focus on the verb be. In, in, any other volunteer to practice in this part? ¿Alguien tiene oraciones listas para describir a una de estas personas? Who wants to try? try He's drunk coffee. Eh, te. Mm, can you please repeat? Can you please repeat your sentence? Ah, he is drunk coffee. Perdón. <laughs> he is he's drunk tea. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other volunteer? If not, Rolando is going to choose somebody. The last volunteer. Salven a sus compañeros. Who, who wants? Oh, thank you, Graciela. Thank you so much. Um, the second man. Okay, he. What does he look yeah. like? He's medium high. Um, his hair is black and short. Um, his his shoes is white. And his t-shirt is yellow. Okay, what about, let's see, how old is he? How old is he? In his theater. He is in his 30s. Okay. Theater. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's see, let's go to something that is a little bit difficult and is describe yourself. Can you please use this adjective to describe yourself? Para describirse a usted, puede utilizar los adjetivos que ya vimos durante la clase. 
and you say I am. So you say I am. I am short. I am shabby. I am in my early thirties or twenties. My hair is long. My hair is short. So don't forget about the equation. What does he look like? How long is her hair? What color is her hair? And how tall is she? And how old? Ahora apliquemos a nosotros. What do you look like? How long is your hair? What color is your hair? How tall are you? And how old are you? Who wants to try? Who wants to describe yourself tonight? Any volunteer? I am tall, teacher. Okay, thank you, Kenny. Kenny say, I'm tall. Very good sentence, I'm tall. I am short. My hair is long. Um, the color is, how do you say rubio cenizo? Um, what is that rubio cenizo? Rubio is blonde. It's como, it's como blonde, but no for pigment yellow, sino que for pigment gray. Ah, okay. Very um, cenizo. Ten, I ten. am short. I yes. Have, I am... 23 years old. Okay, thank you. Now, general appearance? No, I don't know if it's that. Any other volunteer? Tell me your sentences, please. Tell me your sentences. What do you look like? Teacher. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, I am... Medial, medial hair. And I am, I, I have dark brown hair. And I am chubby. And I am 42 years old. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone? Describe yourself. The last one. Who wants to try? I, my hair is very long, curly and red. I am young. My hope is 23. Mm, I am of medium height. Okay, thank you. Just the sentence. I'm 23 years old. I'm. I'm 23? Years old. Oh, I'm 23. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Jacqueline. Okay, now think about your best friend. Think about your best friend. About the physical appearance of your best friend, and you are going to share with your classmates. Think, think about your best friend. What does he or she look like? How long is his or her hair? What color is his or her hair? How tall is he or she? How old is he or she? Are you ready? Piensen en su mejor amigo. Your name is Natalie. Um, I she have a short hair in this moment. Uh, the color hair is brown. She is um more taller with me. <laughs> uh, she have um twenty four years old. Uh, okay, can you please repeat that this time? Uh, let's see. I'm going to write your sentence. Just give me a second. This is just an example. Tell me. 
Can you please tell me again? You say her name is Natalie, right? Yeah. Her name is Natalie. She is? Pretty. Okay, she's pretty, thank you. She is of medium. Okay, she is, wait, wait, wait a second. She says she's pretty. Hair, her hair is short at the moment. Su cabello es corto en este momento. Any other sentence about Natalie? Her name is Natalie, she's pretty, her hair is short. What color is her hair? It's brown. Okay, her hair is brown. Thank you. And will get yellow. Okay. Henry, can you please repeat? He, he, here, he is brown and with yellow. Oh, brown and, and yellow. Here, here and blonde. Brown. Ah, and okay. Yeah. Amarillo. And blonde. Yes, we use blonde in this case. Rubio. Her hair is brown. Well, you are going to share this with your classmates. Usted va a compartir eso con sus compañeros. Uh, my best friend is, and he is attractive, or he is handsome. Her hair is, his hair is short. It depends, right? Va a depender si su mejor amigo es ella o es él. He or she. Are you ready to share with your classmate the description of your best friend? ¿Ya tienen listas sus oraciones para compartir con sus compañeros? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Think about your best friend's physical appearance. Acuérdese de la apariencia física de su mejor amigo. And then share with your classmate. Okay, here we go. We are eleven. Okay. See you in five minutes. Los veo en cinco minutos. Okay. Share with your classmate the description of your best friend.
Check my session. I finish. Yeah, finish the session. Mm, no? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, my best friend, his name is uh, Adelio. He is handsome. Uh, his hair is short and curly. His hair is brown. Uh, brown. His hair okay. is brown. Metemos un Are you meeting for your friends? For best friends? Uh, what about his age, Rolando? Age. How old is he? Um, uh, he is 54 years. Okay, he is 54. And what about his body build? He is chubby, thin, uh, slender. He is chubby. He is chubby. Uh, before, antes, antes era de gado. He was... Thing. Oh, he was <laughs> slim. He was <laughs> slender. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, Adelio. Adelio is handsome. His hair is short and curly. His hair is brown. He is 54 years old. And he's chubby. Is that right? Uh, 50, 52. 52. 52 oh, 52 years old. Okay, thank you. What about Graciela's best friend? Um, okay, her her name is Alexandra. She is skinny. Um, she's she's pretty. Her hair is long and brown. And he here is he, here has twenty one years old. Um. He is uh, slender. Ah, okay. Thank you, Graciela. So you say her name is Alexandra. And you say she's skinny. Yeah. At the beginning, you say she's skinny. And then you say she's slender. Skinny significa que es muy delgadita, ¿verdad? Ah, that, okay. That's Entonces, me. she's skinny. Really? She's skinny? Ah, okay. But you can yeah. say... Thin, right? She is thin. Ella es delgada. Porque es skinny es como ya solo bien, bien delgadita. Más delgado que ese. Okay. <laughs> ese dedo. <laughs> so her hair is long and brown. Very good. So you say she is 21. She's 21. Esa es la frase sí. para decir. Eh, la edad. She is 21. She's 21. And... At the end, you say she's a slender. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Graciela. Excellent job. And what about you, Stephanie? Stephanie's best friend. Okay, my best friend is Natalie. Um, she is pretty girl. Uh, she is 24 years old. Your her hair is short and brown. Her eyes is br um, brown. How do you say claritos? Light, light brown. Light brown. Yeah, another question? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, height. Her height, sorry. Her height. Is she tall, short? Uh, she is taller with me, but. She is um, taller than you. Yeah, yeah. She's um, taller than you. Her body is uh, slim. I don't know. She eating, 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 and no fat people. Okay, she's slim. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Stephanie. So her name is Natalie. She's pretty. She's 24 years old. Uh, her hair is short. 
her eyes are light brown means she is tall. She's tall, right? You say she's taller than me. That is a comparative sentence, right? Yeah. And Stephanie, are you tall? No, I am short. Ah. Uh, 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 then you just... say un metro cincuenta lo más. Ah, okay. You say one meter point five. One yeah, point five one meter. meter point five. <laughs> ah, okay. Don't worry about that, right? That is nice. And then she is medium height, we can say. The statura med. She's medium height. So thank you so much. Do you have any question about this? No, teacher, thank you. No. Is it easy it, is it or difficult? It's <laughs> a little bit. It's, it's more difficult to describe yourself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, see you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Thank you so much. You did a great job. Thank you, Stephanie, Graciela, and Rolando. Thank you. Hello, Yancy, Lorena, Henry. Welcome again to the class. Hello, Giselle, Kenny. How was your practice? Sirmana, welcome again. It's fine, teacher. It was fine. Okay, excellent. So, Henry, did you finish your practice? Terminó su práctica con los compañeros? No, teacher. Hubo problema en el audio. Oh, you didn't finish. ¿Con quién estaba trabajando, Henry? Con Xiomara. Y... Um, ok. Sí. Ok, I'm sorry, Henry and Xiomara, that you couldn't finish your practice. So any volunteer just to finish the class who wants to describe his or her best friend for the rest of the class, who went? Just one and we go to sleep. Any volunteer? Thank you, Lorena. My best friend is Maria. She is slim. Her hair is long and black color. She has 24 years old and is short. She is practicing. Teacher, no sé si así se dice. Handball, que balón mano. Yes, she plays handball. Um, actually, study in University of Don Bosco. Okay, she's a student at the University of Don Bosco. Excellent, Lorena. Just her age. Can you please repeat how old is she? How 24? Old is she? Oh, 24. 24 years old. Okay, thank you. So her name is Maria. She's a slim. She's 24 years old. Her hair is black. Her hair is long. She is short. And she's a student at the university. Excellent. And what about the general appearance? Is she cute, pretty, attractive, beautiful? She's pretty. Okay, she's pretty. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Last one. Yes, teacher. Oh, thank you, Henry. My name is uh, Ricardo. Okay. K is Carly is super good. Is super bien, no sé cómo se dice. Oh, he is very well. I'm very oh. well. 
Ah. Wait, wait, wait. ¿Quiere decir que se mira bien? No. Eh, que, o que está bien, bien en este momento. Por no, eh, por ejemplo, es muy bueno. Ah, he's very kind. He's very, very kind. Very kind. Eh, with me, eh, me, por ejemplo, se dice, lo llamo súper bien en el área de trabajo. My okay. work, of work, creo que se dice, ¿verdad? Yes. Oh, okay. Ah, ok. Mm. Oh, worker. Ajá, uh -huh. and we are way communicate. Ok, we have a good communication. Eh, finish, teacher, así es. Okay. ok, very good. Thank you, Henry. That was great. Thank you. Ok, and that is the best thing, right? That you have friends and it doesn't matter, right? The physical appearance, right? As Henry said, uh, he's very kind, right? He's a good person. So I hope that all your friends are uh, very kind too, right? And good. So thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your participation. Thank you for your help during this virtual session. Uh, tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic. We are going to study the very hard way uh, to, describe, um, to describe people. So see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock p.m. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh... <laughs>